Okay, I think we're live. Aloha, everybody. Um, we had some trouble last Sunday with getting the Facebook to stream, right? And uh, it was pretty weird. And I figured out what it was. It has to do with server URLs and stream keys. And uh, you, you don't want to know. And then I had a momentary scare when it wouldn't start here after practicing all afternoon. Of course. So what we're going to try, I'm, I'm going to call this... Uh, Sunday on Wednesdays, as I do it, maybe not every Wednesday, but Sunday on Wednesdays, and today's is Thanksgiving Eve, and I'm going to aim for about 15 to 20 minutes of uh, service of the word, and a lot of it will be very familiar to you. We aren't going to have any music in this. Uh, I know music is, is just beautiful in person in church, but I'm not going to sing for you from my house, and... You can go to YouTube or, or any of the other streaming apps and find a good hymn or, or a contemporary Christian song that would fit with the theme. I can't do that from here because of copyright issues. So, welcome. Good to have you with us. Say hello on the um, Facebook page if you can so that um, I know who's, who's here. Also... Um, I think I'm going to turn, I think I heard something. Also, um, I'll edit this and upload it to YouTube uh, uh, later as well. So here's how it begins, and it's going to be this way quite a bit, I think. Um, and I've seen others doing it in their churches. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. A poulet, caco. Let us pray. And this is the prayer of the day for Thanksgiving. Almighty God, our Father, your generous goodness comes to us new every day. By the work of your Spirit, lead us to acknowledge your goodness. Give thanks for your benefits and serve you in willing obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And the reading appointed for today... Yes, there's actually a three-year uh, cycle of readings, is uh, from Luke 17, beginning with the 11th verse. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you well. So as I've asked other Thanksgiving Eves, what are you faithful or thankful for today? What have you been thankful for since last Thanksgiving? You might also be saying there's some things I'm not thankful for. Uh, loss of a loved one, a son, a sister, uh, a parent, a grandparent even. Maybe your dog or cat. But what are you thankful for? In these times, I am thankful for friends who can support me when I feel lost, when I am grieving. Those who, who were with me as, when my sister died. I'm thankful for the presence of God in my life, especially in some difficult situations, uh, personal, familial, uh, and even some, some spiritual uh, situations. I'm thankful for the presence of God in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit to be in my life. 
I am thankful for my health. I'm, I'm, I, I have aches and pains in parts of my body that I didn't know existed. And, and I was up and down with COVID here in the fall and then the fires, Malka, uh, Mililani Malka, uh, all the smoke and ash. And I just, for like 12 days, had this raging sore throat. So I'm grateful that my health is relatively good. Of course, I'm grateful for everybody at Christ Lutheran Church, too. I am grateful for you. Uh, we have been through some tough times over the last almost 11 years, and we've come through it. bit battered, bit worn down, but we've come through it, and we have been faithful. And I think you know that in this community, we have a message, the love of God in Christ, unconditional love, grace of God. We have a message to get out. Yes, I'm very grateful to all of you here at Christ Lutheran Church. You know, I'm kind of grateful for my clergy friends, too. I, some of you know I'm the, the dean of uh, uh, the Hukilau Conference, the Hawaii ELCA uh, Conference of uh, Clergy. And I appreciate getting together with them. Uh, on Zoom sometimes, uh, but we've been doing a little bit more in person, and that's been great. I'm grateful. This night, too, as I'm thinking about that uh, car wreck on the Rainbow Bridge in uh, Niagara Falls, New York, I am, uh, I'm grateful for all of the Border Patrol, all of the troopers, the military who can't be at home, uh, the police who will be out, um, I am grateful for all of those first responders and hospital staff who are going to be there overnight and through tomorrow to help people. A friend of mine on uh, social media, another pastor, posted a couple days ago this. He said, Thanksgiving is the day we celebrate Americans feeding undocumented immigrants from another country. I never thought of it that way before. This is the day we celebrate Americans, Native Americans, feeding undocumented pilgrim immigrants from another country. Whoa. Whoa. So, I think about that gospel, the Samaritan. He was a foreigner. He was the only one who came back to thank Jesus, to offer praise and thanksgiving. And the Samaritans, you may remember, were from the city of Samaria, the capital of the northern kingdom that was destroyed by the Assyrians because they were not worshiping in Jerusalem. They were wor worshiping at Bethel. And uh, uh, they were the uh, arch enemies after the exile and the return. They were the arch, arch enemies of the Jews, those from the southern kingdom. So Jesus, it'd be like, this guy's worse than a leper, even if he's healthy. But he healed him. He healed him. And so we say the reign of God draws near in unexpected ways, in small but powerful ways. I have been cognizant, more so since the... Uh, pandemic started, that for many, Thanksgiving is a sad day. For many Native Americans, who, yeah, fed a bunch of undocumented immigrants because they were starving and it was the right thing to do, who have lost everything. For blacks, people enslaved. If you've not read uh, Ibram X. Kendi's uh, book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, you really ought to. It's, it's powerful. I didn't agree with everything in the book, but I rarely do with anyone. And his was a powerful, powerful uh, telling of the history of slavery. I think it's a sad day for Native Hawaiians, too, whose life, culture, and kingdom were overthrown. And it's hard sometimes to be grateful, wondering where it all went, who you are, how you are. I'm also grateful that the 
doctrine of discovery has been denounced by the ELCA, that doctrine that said white people are superior and so we have every right to come and take your land, your life, your culture, your kingdom. So I am humbly thankful for deeper understanding and new perspectives on holy days, holidays, power and privilege. It has taken me a while to come back to Jesus. Samaritan just spun around, boom, and back he came. It has taken me a while to give thanks, to see the world through others' eyes. But on this Thanksgiving Eve, I am deeply grateful, deeply grateful that I'm able to see again. Amen. And let us together confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. See how you can remember it. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And together, let us pray the prayer that our Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, how did this go? Okay. About 14 and a half minutes. I'm going to bless you. And let's do a, one we all know. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. And a most blessed Thanksgiving. Amen. See you in church. And let me know what you think of this uh, uh, Sunday on Wednesdays. Okay. Aloha.